In a previous episode of Modern CLI, I started out by displaying the contents of a readme file to convey some information about the episode. The command looked something like this. Now, normally when I think about displaying the contents uh, of a file in the terminal, I reach for the command called cat, and that would look something like this. Though cat gets the job done, it's a pretty bare bones approach. It's white text on a black background, the information that I want to convey doesn't really pop out. And when you use a format like Markdown, it's because you want the syntax to convey meaning about certain parts of the text. So again, if I reach for this command called bat, I can display this file in style. It's got this grid, it's got line numbers, displays the file name up here. Now this is pretty good, but I can customize this a little bit further with the style tag. If I add style full, we can see the default representation of the file. If I change it to plain, it's really going to cut away all the fluff. The grid, the line numbers, the file name are all gone. It's a little squished against the command itself now. So what I like to do is combine a couple of them, grid and numbers. That way I get some nice formatting, but I don't have the extra information of the file name at the top. BAT supports syntax highlighting of all kinds of file types. It has Git integration and a number of other command line options. So go ahead and check it out at the GitHub URL and consider using it the next time you want to display a file. That's it for this episode. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop on upcoming episodes of Modern CLI.